Morning everyone, hope you're well and welcome to a new Florida Travel Day vlog. Um, so it's been a while since we were last vlogged and quite a bit's changed since then so we've moved house. Uh, Victoria's got a new job. Joey's about to start school in mm -hmm. September. He's got a little bit taller yeah. as well, which means he can go on lots of new rides. And I've got a bit fatter and bolder. <laughs> so yeah, everyone's everyone's winning. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. We hope you enjoy and stick around. We're going to be in a full vlog series and showing you what it's like to travel to Florida with a little one. Uh, we've got lots of exciting things planned for the next couple of weeks. And I'm sure lots of outtakes. So originally we planned to go to LA in April next year, but because that's not happening now, we thought we'd book a last minute trip to Florida. Um, so three weeks ago, this wasn't even an idea. Um, and two weeks ago, we hadn't booked anything. So yeah, pretty, pretty last minute. So we're flying from Manchester to Orlando with Virgin Atlantic this afternoon. Um, we've already been delayed 40 minutes, which isn't ideal, but at least they told us ahead of time. Um, so the flights would have cost for the three of us, uh, I think £3,150 if we were to have paid for them, which, yeah, I mean, we wouldn't have because that's far too much money. Um, but what we used was uh, 62,000 air miles, a companion voucher, and we paid about £650 in taxes, so it worked out pretty good. So hotel-wise, we're staying at Cabana Bay. I get, oh, my it is. <laughs> So hotel wise we're staying at Cabana Bay this time, uh, we'd originally booked Dockside uh, but Cabana Bay didn't work out too much more expensive we just, so we decided to cancel Dockside. Uh, we booked through Travel Republic and for the 14 nights it was just over £1600. So for the three of us, for flights and hotel, um, about two 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 three so i think for two weeks in august yeah it's not too bad and park wise so we're sticking to what we know and love this trip and also trying to keep it a little bit cheaper so we're just doing universal so we got our tickets through orlando attractions and for the three of them we paid 830 pounds and those are e-tickets as well so we've kind of got those on our phone and ready to go but yeah paper tickets seem like they've disappeared now so joey what are you most looking forward to Going on the red plane. <laughs> He's gone. Um, so I think for me, it'll be, hello, riding Spider-Man with Joey. So that's one of the new rides you can do, one of my favourites. So that'll be good. Be great to get back on Velocicoaster as well, as always. And then we're there for the new Minions ride opening day. So that is next Friday. So that'll be quite good as well to see what's going on for that. What are you looking forward to? I am also looking forward to seeing all the 30th anniversary Jurassic Oh yeah, Park the tribute shop. So yeah. we're just making it in time for that. We didn't know if it had stopped by the time we came, but I think it seems to be still on. So we'll go see the tribute shop. Yeah, you can tell we're in Salford, there's police sirens going <laughs> everywhere. So uh, we're stopping off at Smith's just to get some headphones for Joey. So we're going to jump in there now. Inside the shop, yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. We can choose toys. Maybe. Maybe. And then we're heading to meet and greet at the airport. So I'll just put a clip in now from Joey that he filmed yesterday whilst we were still at home. And we'll see you at the airport. See you at the airport. See you at the airport. <laughs> Hello. In the morning, I'm going on holiday. I'll tell you a bit more about my toy room later. So, the good is that I'm going on holiday is about, I am going to Florida. I'm going to go on Spider-Man and see Spider-Man. And I'm going to meet Pearl. She's a velociraptor went. And she, when I went, she tried to eat me. But... I'll train her this time. I'll work her. And I'll see you coming in What's that doing in there? That's not. Where you? Where are you? That was a bit funny in my toy room. And I'm going to watch Mario. And I'm going on the play where I play. Red one. And I'm going on the red one. And this is my blue helmet I showed you. And I'm going 
Bye. See you in a bit. Oh, yeah. Okay, so about an hour's passed since we got here. Uh, so meet and greet, nice, straightforward. Uh, literally just parked opposite. Um, dropped your keys off and yeah, it took about two minutes. Uh, Check-in took about 40 minutes. Um, so it started off, there were three people working in the economy desk, then it went down to two, then one and then zero. So we had to wait um, for the premium economy desk to stuff. A little bit longer, but we're all checked in now. Rocked off the car seat. Yeah, gonna go through security. And yeah, we're keeping Joey's pram, because that way you can go through sort of the family, family line. Fast track, I don't know what, it, what it's called, but yeah, it just makes it a little bit quicker and easier. So keeping Joey's pram, and then we'll drop it off at the gate. See you in a bit. Okay, so the assistant line didn't really save too much time in the end compared to the normal queue. Well, I guess that's good news for anyone travelling without young children or the pram. Uh, so it's 25 past one now, and apparently we're on final call. So I'm not sure if we're going to try and head out a little bit earlier because the revised uh, departure time was 20 past two, and the original one was 1.40. So hopefully, as long as everybody can kind of get through security and through G3, hopefully. We're going to have no delay or at least a small one. So Joe and Victoria have already headed down towards the plane whilst I filled up the water bottle. Well, they did here at Manchester, which is quite good. It's free water refill station, so just filled up Joey's bottle now and yeah, saved us a bit of money on buying some at Smith's. So yeah, let's head to the gate and see if we're boarding. Sadly disappeared. But yeah, then we're just about ready to push back. Joey's wanting to watch Mario. And we'll have some lunch. Yeah? He's concentrating. Are you concentrating? Yeah. yeah. I'm doing my puppet and I'm again so I'm hoping we're not about to go back onto stand or else that has not gone well so that's it we're parking back up no announcements Cap crew medals for arrival passengers thank you patients we're just coming back onto stand uh, please do remain seated and we'll turn the seatbelt signs off as soon as we can again so thank you patients Off in case uh, you need to uh, just have a quick leg stretch or use the restroom. Uh, I would ask, so when I pull them back on again, though, could you please sit down and strap in as soon as possible so we can get on that way? Uh, thank you very much. Oh, so we don't really know what's going on at the minute. Um, so we just pull back onto stand, both we'll engines shut down, see if our sign's been turned off. And yeah, and the pilot said, take your seats when I turn the seatbelt sign back on. So I guess, as it stands at the minute, the plan is we're still going and going on this plane, but we will soon find out, hopefully. And uh, we ordered a fuel bouncer to come up with some more fuel on board, so hopefully we'll fly you there a little bit quicker. Uh, that has yet to arrive, and then obviously we've got to get the fuel on board and the associated 
people work. So my personal guess is is that we're going to be here for a minimum of uh, 30 minutes from now. So uh, I'm sorry about that, but uh, that's how it is, I'm afraid. If I get any firmer information, any uh, updated times, I will of course get back to you. Thanks very much. Taxiing out, so we're finally going. Orlando, here we come. sections that's how we choose to do things so um, Joey's watched a bit of the TV uh, border that's now went out onto the sticker book and then hopefully by the time he's bored of this it'll be time for some food then he's got Flay's nap play with your toys a little bit then and uh, maybe his iPad the oh, there we go front for his toys <laughs> should have mentioned it what have we got there we got some Fruit juice. We've got salmon fried goujons and potato wedges and sweet corn. Little breadsticks. You got a cookie there? Yeah, that looks good. And then some melon. Yeah, looks good. Sure, we'll have the Joey review shortly. Yeah, so food's arrived. So the options were uh, cheesy pasta. I think it's potentially got spinach in it. Or oh, chicken and rice. So we've got fun. Or the pasta, so we'll let you know how it is. Appetizing. Yeah, so what have you got now? Pretty surprises, yeah. So we like to bribe Joey into having a nap. Um, so so we've got him a couple of little bits here, so both dinosaurs you can see, so we've got Imagine X Blue and Owen, and then he's got a dinosaur vaccine as well, so hopefully that'll kill the next hour or so. And we have got five hours, 42 
three minutes still to go. So lunch was, was alright, um, better than what it looked anyway. So we both had the spinach pasta, it was good. Um, Joey didn't really touch his to be honest, but yeah, it was okay from the, the little bits that we nibbled on. where the lifts are. Yeah, just go down, all clearly signposted, and you've got your Uber from there, so yeah, nice and straightforward. Oh, it is roasting, so just ordered um, the Uber uh, at number 29, and it's gonna be here in two minutes, so yeah, really quick. It costs $40, which is a little bit more than usual. And normally, if it's not peak time coming back to the airport, it's like 20, but yeah, needs must. So let's go to Cabana Bay.
you like it? Yeah. So that's Mummy and Daddy's bed, and this is my bed. Is it? I feel like every travel day vlog ends with him jumping on a bed. But yeah, we've made it to Cabana Bay, so we are... Just. Just, yeah, what time is it? Half past nine, so... Half past two in the morning UK time. So, I've been up almost 24 hours now, actually. I don't know why Joey's got so much energy, but there we go. So yeah, so we got a room uh, exactly where we wanted it, so we're building five on the ground floor. So we're literally a few rooms down from the, the canteen and, and the bus, which is ideal for us, near the pool we want to be as well. So yeah, long day. Um, so once we set off, Virgin were good. The entertainment was good, the food was all right, lots of drinks. But um, I remember we get out there. And he, I'm sure when you go on holiday. Ah! <laughs> what he said, there's probably people sleeping next door. Um, but yeah, it was just the morning at the airport. Uh, and actually, I found another bed. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> yeah, so Virgin text at 5 a.m. said the flight was delayed, so I think it was a little bit early to be messaging. And then check in was atrocious. I don't know why there was no staff whatsoever. Um, and then the little stuff there was walked away and then it was final call for boarding and we weren't boarding and obviously we pushed back from the gate, started the engine, shut the engines down, came back on and there was no communication so all that was uh, a little bit rubbish but yeah as soon as we set off it was really good, uber nice and easy and yeah we're here now so we're going to wrap up travel day vlog. Ready? I'm going to jump. Go on then. God. So we're going to wrap up the travel day vlog here and if you've enjoyed please consider giving us a like, comment and subscribe and yeah we'll see you next Friday for day one's vlog. See you in a bit. Hello. Hello. Bye. When you go on holiday eat a bit always good. Don't listen to me. Okay. And the goodest on holiday is about where you can go on these see the street and goodest at, at okay at that how you yeah. Just when I've got in a compass. Okay. Okay, I can tell you now. Uh, this is very comfortable. Bye.